The CERN Hadron Collider has become a tremendous focus um, and without question it is a distraction um, or misdirection. It is a distraction by Satan to redirect the focus of what is most important. I'm going to read to you what is most important from the Bible. John chapter 1 verse 12. But as many as received him, <clears throat> him to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Now notice that word power. To them that believe on his name, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. Now that word power is the word deutimus. It's explosive power. It's power that is way beyond the whatever that the hydron collider can produce. I don't care how much uh, power it produces, it can't change the nature of a person. And that's the problem in our world today, is that man has an inherent fallen nature. And that fallen nature is prone to sin. It is always going to breed corruption. It is always going to fail. And the only solution, the only answer to the world's problems is the Word of God. Now, God spoke the world into existence with his word. Amen? He said it, and it happened. He said it. Let there be, and it came into being. Now, it says in the scripture, in Luke Chapter 12, verse 34. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Now, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7 says, But we have this treasure in an earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. The excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. To as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Now inside this vessel is the word of God, the incorruptible seed, the word of God, and there is power in his word or in the seed of his word. God is producing something beautiful with this word inside this vessel. Christ in me, the hope of glory. The same word that God spoke the world into existence with is the same word that is working mightily in me. There is power in the word explosive power 
power to change, power to transform, and power to save. Are you listening, folks? Don't be distracted by what man is doing, by what the devil is doing. Redirect your focus back upon Jesus Christ, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. He's the author and the finisher. What he has authored, he will finish. He's the author and the finisher of our faith. And it's this power of God, through the word of God, that is producing the sons of God to be like Jesus, to have the same divine nature as Jesus Christ, a nature that does always those things that please the Father. This is the hope of glory. Christ in us, the hope of glory. So don't look upon the things the world is doing. I don't care how much power, even if they're able to open a, even if they are able to open a gateway, even if they are able to open up a wormhole, so what? Is that what we're supposed to be focusing on? Is that not the same as Peter getting his eyes on the storm and then beginning to sink? Now, if we're going to stand in this hour, all our focus must be upon the Word. We must become consumed with the Word. The Word, the truth of God, the truth of God's Word must consume us. We must be con consumed folks, by the word. Amen? Now, there are those in this hour the Lord is spewing out. That means he's not consuming them. They were once in Christ, but then he spewed them out because they were lukewarm. Now, you think about it. Somebody goes and gets something to drink and they think it's going to be refreshing and they go to drink it once it goes in their mouth, they realize, hey, this is not very tasty. This is not good. And spits it out. That's what God is going to do with those that are lukewarm. Those that say, I'm rich, increased with goods, and have need of nothing. God says, you're wretched, you're poor, you're blind, you're miserable and you're naked. Now these people that are in this condition think they're rich, increased with goods, and have need of nothing. The very ones that think they are just ready to go to heaven are the very ones that Jesus says, you are wretched. You're miserable. You're blind. You're naked. Folks, understand the true riches. Buy of me gold tried in the fire. The nature of God in the fire. That, that you may be rich. Are you listening? Buy of me gold. Now, they're saying right now, you're hearing those that sell gold saying, buy gold. This is a good time to buy gold while the price is down. Buy gold. And at the same time, the Lord is saying to you and I, buy of me gold. God's telling us, buy gold. This is a time to buy gold. But what gold is he talking about? He's talking about oil. He's talking about oil. Now is the time to purchase. 
Now is the time to make sure that you have plenty of oil. Listen, folks, how do you buy oil in God's kingdom? How do you purchase oil? There's only one way that you can purchase in the kingdom of God, and that's by faith. Because the scripture says we lay hold by faith. You have to believe. You have to believe. Now listen, folks. If you're going to be rich in this hour, spiritually, you're going to have to have this treasure, this oil, this treasure, Christ in us, the hope of glory. You're going to have to have the anointing. Going to have to have the anointing, the power of God. Jesus told his disciples, don't go anywhere. Tarry, wait in Jerusalem until you be endued, until you be clothed upon with this anointing, with this power, with this supernatural clothing, this supernatural armor. Don't go anywhere until you have it. Divine clothing. Understand, people, that the world doesn't have the answer. The scientists don't have the answer. They're spending billions of dollars. I forgot how many millions of dollars they've already spent on CERN. And all they've got is a collider that can not change, not transform, not help anybody. It's nothing but research. That's all it is. Now, it is possible that they could cause a chain reaction and cause a nuclear explosion of some sort. That they could cause some kind of explosion. After all, they're after the Big Bang. Well, maybe they'll get that Big Bang. And maybe they'll, they'll blow themselves up. Uh, you know, blow themselves up. But to be able to change from the fallen nature to the incorruptible divine nature of Christ, that takes God's power. I'll read it again. John chapter 1, verse 12. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Now, just before that, it says, He came to his own, and his own received him not. He came to the Jews. He came to his own people, but they received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. Israel rejected Jesus. And today they're building a hydron collider, folks. And they've got a statue out in front of the hydron collider that is the statue of Shiva, which is the goddess of destruction, which is the god of destruction. It's about destruction. And they believe out of destruction there'll be a recreation. And Understand. Yeah, de destruction's coming. When they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction. Destruction is coming. But it's not because man is doing it altogether. It's because man has been given over to a reprobate mind. Because God is giving up this generation to uncleanness. Are you listening? God is giving this generation over and up unto vile affections. And that's where we see Babylon. That's where we see Shiva. That's where we see these things. Babylon, Egypt. 
dark 